Hello everyone, my name is Vakar Asan and you are watching AI Studio. Today we are going to make an interesting project of face recognition system. Basically, it's a method used for identifying our individual using their faces. So here you can see that we have a face, then it will match their faces according to their uh, points. So let's get straight into the project. So first of all, I will tell you how to make your an interesting project with this. Okay. So what is basically face recognition? Face recognition is a method used for identifying or verifying the identity of individual using their faces. Okay. So in this project, they can match their faces and uh, tell that the person is right or not okay so let's get straight into the project so first of all i will open my jupyter notebook here i will open my jupyter notebook okay so after opening this i will rename this this is our project of face recognition face recognition okay now i will save my file okay so first of all basically i have uh, con uh, convert this project or divide this project into three different phases okay so first phase is we will load the images in the second step we will find faces and encode them in the third and the last step we will compare that images and tell whether it's are true or false okay so first of all i will import my cv2 okay after that i will import numpy as np numpy as np okay now i will import my face recognition library okay so which is import face recognition recognition okay so after importing these libraries what i will do first of all i will load the images okay so i will write here image from which is equal to face recognition and i will load my image so i here i will give the command load image of that file okay which is basically at our desktop here you can see that so so here you can see that these are our images okay so here you can see this is the image of donald trump and this is the test image so first of all i will put my original image and here from here i will copy as a path and give my image the path okay so after putting this path so what will i do i will put r here okay because i am choosing the path after this what will i do i will convert my bgr image into rgp okay so for this purpose i will write here image from okay which is equal to cv2 dot cvt color and here the image which is from okay after that i will write here cv2 dot color so i want to convert bgr to rgb okay so after converting that image i will uh, same uh, i will do the same for the test image so i am copying this and i will paste it here okay so here i will put my test image which is image test and same command for this 
okay uh, now what will i do i will give him the path of the test image so here is the test image i will copy the path and will paste it here okay so this is the path i put it here okay and here i will convert my image this test image into rgb okay so uh, here i will change image test and here i will paste it okay after converting this so here we will change this this is basically our test image okay now this is our first step so what is our uh, second step we will find faces and encode them okay so first of all i will write it here face location okay which is face recognition face recognition and here i will uh, find the location of the face okay which is face and locations and here which is the image of the trump okay after this location i will give him the starting point which is at zero okay after uh, location what will i do i will give him the value i will encode them okay so here i will write encode this image which is equal to face recognition and encode them so i will use face encoding face encoding which image i want to encode which is the image of the trump so here i will write image trump and here again i will give him the value which is zero okay so now what will i do i will uh, put my cv2 dot rectangle okay so here just a minute okay so here from here which is cv2 dot rectangle and here i will put image of image from and now i uh, i will give him the points okay these points are basically the top right top left bottom right and the bottom left okay so here i will give him the values which is x1 y1 and x2 y2 okay so here i will write face location and here i will define the coordinates let's suppose in first cases i am defining three and in the second which i am defining as zero okay after this this these are basically x1 and y1 so i am copying this and will paste it here okay here i will give him the second values which are uh, x2 and y2 and i will put here one and two okay after this i will give him some color okay so here i am putting the values 255 comma 0 comma 255 okay now i will define the thickness which is 2 and same i will do for the test image so i am copying this and I will paste it here. Now, face location. This is the basically image of the trunk. Here, I will write the test image here. Okay. And same for the second step, which is image test. Okay. Now, here I will change this, which is the image test. Okay. So, now, I encode my test image and the original image.
so in the third step i will compare the images so what will i do i will write here the results which is equal to face recognition and and i will compare those so i am writing this so just a minute so i will write here compare faces which will compare that faces and here i will write the encode from okay so encode bring out the trump and and code of the test so basically it will compare the two images encoding of the trump and the encoding of the test image and will tell us whether uh, it's true or not okay so here i will write the distance so what will i do i will write here face distance which is equal to face recognition and here i will write face distance which is basically the two images and encode of the trump and the second one is the encode of the test image okay so now here i will give him the command which is the print which will print that results okay so from here i can write print results and face distance so i am not using this command at this time uh, because i have to go to the final result so uh, now i want that it will put some text uh, on the image of the text image so i will write here cv2 dot put text okay it will put the text and on which image i want i want on the test image so what will it put so here i will write face and i will write here results and and the round so here i will round off that values which i find in the face distance okay so here i will round of that face distance which is face distance and here i will put zero and the thickness will be two so now what will i do now i will give him the let's say values which are about 50 and 50 okay now i will uh, define the font size here which is font marche and here i will write complex so after writing this i will define here which is one and now i will define the color so here i will put the values of that color which is 255 0 and 0 so uh, after this i will define the thickness which is 2 now i want to show my image so for uh, showing the image we will use the command of imshow function so which is cv2 dot imshow and here 
okay uh, we want to uh, image of the donald trump and here i will define the image trump and same i will do for the test image so i am copying this and i will paste it here so here i can change image test okay and it is the test of the donald trump image so here i will write that donald test so now i will use the wait key command okay which is cv2 dot wait key and here i will define zero okay now we will run our uh, run this to see that our program is good or not it will recognize that face or not okay uh, so first of all i will run this and after that i will run this okay so it's working just wait for a minute and here are the images you can see this is the original image of the donald trump and this is our test image which uh, he compare and the condition is true so that's why it's uh, defining that it's a true person and it's matching okay so what will uh, happen if we uh, write it here and other image then it will uh, define here the false it means that our faces are not match so this is a good project so from this project in our next video we will make a video on the att uh, attendance system which will define the how he compare that faces and the uh, mark the attendance of those persons which are matching in the system so uh, keep watching ai studio thank you